so guys in this video i'm going to give you a very quick fix to passing your usmle step one but before that you should be able to pass your nbmes and also you should be able to do well on your u world and also on your u world assessments so in this video that's exactly what i'm going to do there are some people who just want to pass their step one and then move on to the step two i understand them perfectly because step one is very very frustrating i know people make it seem as if it's so easy no it's never easy there are amgs who start learning for usmle step one on the first day of they are med school but IMGs we don't have it that way some of us finish even practice and when things are not going well in our countries then we want to write a USMLE and make better money yeah so I, I share I share I share the pain of most IMGs because I have been there myself it was very hard from the beginning I thought I couldn't do it but eventually I do it I, I did it I'm sorry so now in this video that's exactly what i'm going to address i'm going to help you to at least pass your usmle step one and then move on to step two because you can't waste so much time on step one it's just pass or fail okay so now before then i want to tell you that you should subscribe to this channel i'm almost at 2000 subscribers and i need to reach 2000 and so please subscribe to this channel and check some of my videos because i've done certain videos that if you watch it to give you a breakthrough in some of the topics that you are struggling with so my name is jerry i am an img and if you don't know me i have already taken my step one i'm in my dedicated right now for step two and it's coming up very soon and i'm gonna do it and then get a very um, good step one uh, sorry step two score so that i can march into residence i'm trying everything hard to march in this year 2023 uh, for 2023 march so i'm trying everything hard to be able to take it fast now let me go to why i'm doing this video so let me just go straight to the point now if you've been doing your N your nbmes and then you are not doing well let me t tell you the secret to unlocking that pass that you're not getting is like this after you do your nbms it tells you your weak areas the first thing that you can do is look at those weak areas if they are four if they are five look at them and just write them so after we identify our weak areas with the nbme we are going to carry those weak areas to a different q bank other than u world it could be ambos or rx but i prefer rx because rx is just like the first aid rx is like just like repetition of the first aid so if you're someone who does not enjoy reading the first aid then rx is the best tool for you because the questions are just like it is in uh, it is in the first aid so now what you want to do is that usually i recommend you selecting the topics from rx that are same as your weak areas do them rx do as many blocks as possible on rx but it should be rapid review you speed through it so let's say you sit down today and you do about three blocks review them you just do it review it look at their answers the rationale that they give don't waste too much time understanding but just see what they are talking about and you now that will help you identify what you don't understand about the topic after that you take b and b and really b and b will explain to you those things that you don't understand so that fix that fixes your understanding of that topic now that is going to boost your score very 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 much so that is one thing that you have to do now if you can if you feel lazy because i know at times we all feel lazy doing questions what you have to do is get a study buddy whereby you both agree to do those thousand questions i'm talking about within one week try to do as about 800 to thousand questions in one week and that will help you identify your weak areas get a study partner you do it together and review it together after that now you all know exactly what you don't understand about let's say if it's cardio you know exactly if it's the heart murmurs that you don't understand or if it is that you don't commit all of them into memory then bnb will show you how to commit them into memory but if you go straight away to bnb and then he's talking about it you will realize that you you think you understand it when he's talking you may think you understand it but when you do questions before doing the bnb &B, then now the question tells you exactly what you don't understand before you go to bnb &B, so that when you're doing bnb &B, you know what to focus on and what to write down so that you can repeat or look at it every day and then it's gonna stick that is the easiest way that i was able to do my step one and then improve that was the easiest way that i i did it review if you are someone that does not love 
to do questions we all feel lazy sometimes doing questions you want to get a study buddy so that you both do it together now if rx is something that you cannot pay for the subscription why i choose one week is that within one week you can get free subscription and that will help you a lot so you should be able to do the questions within one week and also review if you can also not do it within one week then the next thing that you, you are going to do is that you can register for the rx do some of the questions and when your subscription is over you register again for the following week and then you can um, be able to complete it but one week is the best because you don't want to waste time now the next thing is after you do the rx now you are going to get some questions incorrect so those questions that you got incorrect is what is the reason why you are not doing well on those topics i hope you understand me you've done your weak areas on nbme and now you you came to rx to do those weak areas all over again and now on those weak areas you will get some questions right and you get some questions wrong if you those that you get wrong are the reason why you're not doing well on your nbmes on your u world assessment so now what do we do we are going to now work on the topics that we've gotten wrong on rx now how do we work on that now we go to boss and beyond we go to boss and beyond and he would explain those things that we don't understand about our weak areas to us and then that should also be rapid now if boss and beyond is not helping you then you have you want to do pathoma but what i recommend is some of the subjects like when it comes to physio you want to do boss and beyond when it comes to pathology you want to do pathoma and when it comes to a topic like him you want to do pathoma because pathoma is very good if it comes to the first two chapters of your pathoma first three chapters and usually because him is a fourth sub, uh, chapter i call it the first four chapters for the first three chapters you want to do both b and b and pathoma because it will reinforce the knowledge in your mind so this is something that you want to do it's very important that you follow this there is no coaching if this if the if the coachee is not going to follow uh, the coach so if what i'm saying is going to be is something that you really want to implement you will see a very big improvement in your scores and you will be ready to take the usmle within the shortest possible time so thank you for watching this video if you don't understand anything you always have my email go to the about tab on my youtube page and then you see my email i've also put some free resources in the links there and you don't have to spend so much money doing this usmle i have the resources and they are free and you will just be fine thanks don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to carry me far okay thank you and have a great and a wonderful study session bye